Full visibility, current search. Yesterday I saw about 15 sharks. Did not come here to fuck waters. Good morning from Cairns. Yeah, I still can't say it. Anyways, it is 5.54 to be exact. I actually haven't had jet lag like this seasoned traveler managed to fight jet lag all the way in Australia. I don't know how. I'm going diving on the Great Barrier Reef, you know? I still can't believe it because look, this is Cairns. It looks like I'm in a fake town in the US. The roads are wide, the buildings look like they've just been dropped out of nowhere, and it's just very like random to say the least. They said to view here at six, like your girl is very punctual. It's now 559. First thing they tell you to do is to buy Travacom. Because even if you don't get seasickness, uh touch what I've never gotten it, you don't want to get it on your first driving trip in the Great Barrier Reef. So shuttle buses left from several pickup locations and brought us all to the marina where we boarded our boat for the next three days. Uh, when we got on board, they straight away gave us a nice breakfast and this is what the room looked like. <laughs> guys just a little update i came to put on my bikini it's so windy and choppy upstairs there's like one person already got sick some people are just like lying all over the place it was too dangerous to be lying on the top deck so we can't even lie in the sun so it's actually quite cold because like water just splashed all over me too so it's pretty crazy it's only 9 30 and it feels like it's already one o'clock and i went to sleep <laughs> sea sickness tablets actually makes you really sleepy so like my eyes are just like tired we have three or four dives every day so anyways I'm gonna get out of our bunk because it is really not so nice being this low Raspberry and coconut. <laughs> Hope you are all enjoying yourself. How cute. How are you enjoying your open water diving? <laughs> really? Yeah. That's, that's so cute. Lots of fish. And I have no song reception, which is really nice. Oh, yeah, actually, it's true. You need one of these. Where did you get them? We arrived at our third dive site and. Um, Honestly, the second one was really good. I saw a shark for the first time. Well, apart from the whale shark that I saw in Oman when I was doing my advanced, which is just like a natural phenomenon. Like, it's just amazing. Didn't want to do this third dive because I wanted to save energy for my fourth, but I feel like I just, I can't be that type of person right now. I need to just push myself. I I'm very glad that you saw a turtle. Thai green coat. It smells good. There's a vegetarian option. Okay. There's also, uh, um, but yes, that's it. And then we're having some salad and some roast veggies. Nice. Hi guys, what are you doing? <laughs> you can speak to the camera. <laughs> Really 
what I'm getting from this is that everybody has done a night dive before, except for those of you who would like to do their dive. I haven't. Okay, no night dive. <laughs> Night dive is going to work uh, a little bit different to, these, to how we do it during the day. Uh, so I'm going to simulate that here in a second. Oh, simulate you. Oh, oh. Hello. Oh, right. <laughs> so this is what it's going to be like with your night dive, right? I don't like it. Now, to know how much air you guys have, you're going to hold your torch over your SPG. And you're going to hold it there for a couple of seconds. And it's going to glow for you. Oh. See anything there yet? What you see is these two little green eyes. It's probably a small shark, quite far away. If you notice those two green eyes start to get a little bit closer, uh, uh, further apart, and you still can't see the thing in between them, it's getting a little bit bigger. Okay? okay? If it gets to about this far apart and you still can't see the thing in between them, I'd start swimming the other way rather quickly. <laughs> um, but the reef sharks are very, very curious. They're very inquisitive. They don't know what you are. Okay, so what they will probably do is they will probably come close enough to see more or less they'll size you up. They start swimming towards you and uh, you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable. What you can do is you can take your torch and just shine it in their eyes and that will just uh, give them enough uh, discouragement that they're not going to come close to you. Make sure you get those. Just say, say what you just said to me. You said it's okay to hold on to my instructor. All right, come on, it's your turn. I was, 100%. Alright, let's go. Alright, giant ride. <laughs> oh my god. I look like a mess. I look like a mess, but it's okay. I just came back from my first ever night dive. I am so proud of myself. Like literally the second I jumped into the water, I just screamed and I said, I'm proud of myself. I have overcome a fear and not only my fear of night dives, of like the darkness in the ocean, because the ocean is so vast, like you don't even understand. Even when you're underneath, you're just, it's amazing how deep, how much there is, how many like different colors, species, everything. And at night, it was a whole other experience. They weren't joking. You see all different types of fish. They are massive. The fish themselves are like, I saw a couple that were a half the size or a bit more than half the size of our, like the dive master that was with us. Like the one guy who was leaving, leading us, Kevin, so sweet. I told him in the beginning, I was like, I am petrified so he let me buddy up with him and then he would like at one point he went to me and he was like like you can grab my arm if you want because we saw so many sharks so that's the second fear I overcame today I was swimming with sharks like one actually he looked at me and then I thought he was just like saying hi or something because usually he was like shaking the bell to like warn us if there was a shark and to like you know get our attention to be like look 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 but this time he just looked at me and then it came like swimming right underneath me and it was the biggest one we saw as well. It was like almost the size of me. The feeling of a hot shower after a dive, even though you're limited to three minutes, is unmatched. Like I was so cold. They had to give me a double wetsuit actually because like an extra jacket wetsuit because I was so cold that when I first, after my first dive, he was like, Nelly, your lips are blue. And I just like, I was freezing. I was so freezing. I didn't want to do this dive, but I watched the briefing and I was like, you know what, Nelly, you're on the Great Barrier Reef. You're in Australia. You came here for an adventure to go out of your comfort zone and that is exactly what I'm doing. So you don't need to be proud of me because I am proud of me. Okay, so I'm gonna get dressed and I saw the chef just made, made some like Danish pastries. So I'm gonna go eat them. We're here with our dishes yeah. and cream. They're actually no, so they're good, good and warm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look at that <laughs> freshness. Ooh. Mm, yummy yum. Bunk me. He turned his off and I was like, sleep? okay. I slept so I slept well. Like a lot. I was like, so, like, so we woke up for sunrise, but there was no sunrise. Well, there is. We just can't see it. It's, you can see it poking through the clouds. Pressure is 100 bar. 
Um, now, those of you guys are a bit good on your ears, you should only get to about 100 bar around here at the back. Your dive. Sorry, good. How was your? Oh, it was your first deep dive, wasn't it? No. Best certified deep dive. Oh. <laughs> I've done many illegal ones. <laughs> um, it was good. We saw a big grouper. Oh, really? Massive. I have to look at the. Well, I definitely saw a potato cod yesterday. Yeah. I think, maybe also today. I saw a stingray. Yeah. Uh, today and yesterday, I saw two sharks today. Yeah, and one yeah, quite big and, one. And yeah, now, see, now you're not scared. Yeah, the yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> of my big heart. <laughs> What are you serving up for lunch? I'm serving you chicken with honey soy chicken wings and potato bake. Oh, Yum! With some uh, pasta salad. salad, 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 salad. <laughs> I'm helping him bake. I like your face. That's such a good idea. It's so fun. Oh. But then what I'm going to do is you guys are going to uh, definitely you like a quickie. Brian's hold. Yeah, remember Brian's hold over there. Second night time. <laughs> First one. I've convinced her to go because it was the most eye-opening experience. Look, they're all waiting for us. We need some evidence. I told you. It was... <gasps> Look how many. Oh, yes. Air is moving. Yeah, it is actually a good thing. It's so cold. Yes, yes. Oh, I... Uh, <laughs> okay. It sounded like a horse. <laughs> yeah, hello. Oh, I can see. Ah, there you go. Oh, you go. Turn it around. <laughs> Way! <laughs> That's actually fucking sick. Yo. So we are diving with five, which is quite a difficult one. Usually you need a buddy, so you're in pairs of two, which is the meaning of. Ah! Who <laughs> did that on purpose? Um, we're gonna find so, sharks. Yeah, we're gonna go see Brian. Ah! We're gonna see Brian the turtle um, in his sleeping cave, but we need to form a line. So Grace is gonna be our navigator. I'm going second because I don't know if that's better than third, but I feel like I'm apparently third. Hold on. Honestly, it was such a scary experience, but also the most incredible experience because you're in awe of how you are in the ocean. All the fish are half, minimum, half a human body size. Now, from right after this clip, you'll see some awesome footage. It's gonna be 
Jess was saying as well that I hyped her up yesterday because I came back yeah. and I was so excited. But I don't even remember that feeling right now. So I'm terrified. All right, mate. You time to get in the water, all right? <laughs> all right. We're not here to fuck spiders. Looks very choppy. Very Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh perfect. Yeah. Are we descending by line? Yeah. Every night we descend by line. Okay. Oh, it's very choppy. You can go in first. Uh, say goodbye to Natalie, mate. It's 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 right over there. Yeah, that that that's it. That's what you need. incredible I wish you could have seen it and also just for myself to be honest to watch it back but anyways as you can see because of the bad visibility and current we just didn't see as many big fish but at least this gives you a bit of a feeling of being underwater and what the sound the what you can see or actually like what you can't see and um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> comment down below if you think you would do it. A little debrief of our night dive. It was uh, hella hectic. It was adventurous, wasn't it? The slipping as much as I was like drifting around the sea this evening. It was very traumatizing almost, like, I don't know how. Stop lying in your vlog. <laughs> it was! It was so choppy, you could see from the second we jumped in. Then we also didn't have any fish around us. There were a lot, like, fewer fish than yesterday. Yesterday, from the second you went down, they were, like, all coming side, like, beside you, around and the, you, loads the of visibility sharks. was, like, not as good as yeah. last night as well. You can see all the divers going down, you can see the little uh, disco lights on their back. But then we did have a good navigator. I don't know how she found her way. I was just sticking close to her. I lost all the people behind me, but she kept up to date with them. So, like, yeah, made sure we all got to the surface. I was just fearful of getting lost and losing my friends. I didn't want to be on my own. <laughs> I you saw did a so stingray. Well. You didn't hang on to I didn't cling. I wasn't scared at all. I you don't know why, but I think it was because there was really nothing to see. And it was there was a lot happening yeah, as well, so you probably very, didn't like, have stressful. time to think about it. I like I was feeling like my breathing from the beginning, I was quite anxious. But I was like not about the fish, but more about like the situation. It wasn't very yeah. comfortable. Because the current was so strong, we were kind of like being pushed up against the coral, and there's a lot of coral. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. So it was all just like everything was against us. And then when we came up, like the choppy. waves were so choppy, yeah. we couldn't get up on the boats, and everyone was like trying to like. You know, it was all just a bit chaos. Like literally nothing went in our favor. Yeah. Choppy, poor visibility, current surge. Yesterday I saw about 15 sharks, easy. But today I only saw one. Yeah. And nobody else saw it. Yeah. 
Oh, I just yeah, saw yeah. stingray and then we it saw some cool fish, but yeah. yeah. But like, yeah. I'm gonna go put my resignation in in my job. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was already planning planning on doing that on this, this is a Friday. sign. This, this is just showing you yeah. pro so dive so brings it. people it's together. It too. It too. Yeah. And we create long lasting friendships and yes. inspire people to become better dogs. Yes. They're really cool. Yes. What, oh, that, can you like a threesome handshake? <laughs> yeah. Does anyone like this on their phone? No, no. Service. No, we've had like no way That's part of the experience. It's like, oh, they've just gone missing at, uh, it's, it's at the Great Barrier Reef. It's part of the diving adventure. Like, hi, I'm going on this, I'm going diving for three days. The adventure and then you just like disappear. <laughs> Part of the adventure is that um, your your family don't know what's going on. They get to experience the and adventure it, with you. But you know what's crazy is like because we get pat patches of like yeah. internet. I'm getting like all these messages come up on my family group chat. But I'm like I know what's happening in all of your lives. But you can't respond. I can't you respond get to messages. you, and you don't know what's happening in my life. Yeah. <laughs> well, and if any of you guys are looking for a personal instructor, you can hit uh, the diving holiday and future. And if you want to dive, buddy. <laughs> Here's yeah. your gal. Your gal is here. She's pure entertainment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been a very entertaining trip, especially with these two on the boat. It's been a very entertaining trip. Yeah. Lots of giggles, lots yeah. of laughs. Lots of laughs. I love a person to giggle with. Me too. Um, First, you send us out. Me with a torch that didn't work. He made a joke about this on the top deck. <laughs> actually did give me a torch that didn't work. He said, I'm going to leave you out in the dark because he made an inappropriate joke. I so, did not make an and inappropriate then while joke. while he was running around trying to get another torch, I was stuck in the water in the church, wondering why everyone's taking forever. And I thought that they were all just mucking around on the deck. So I was screaming at them. And then he's like, hurry the fuck up. That's what I heard. There you go. Welcome to the most expensive hobby you'll ever have. Yeah. <laughs> because it includes a lot of travel and a lot of money spent on diving. Yeah. Matt, Matt, Matt the Frenchman, who's happy that all the open water people are alive. Oh, certified and alive. Right. Yeah. What? Oh, one is not alive. She had a bit of a problem. Oh, she's not certified. No. Yeah. Right. Right. I was like, not alive. What happened? <laughs> No, I was actually she's gone. She's deceased. She's out. <laughs> Oh, so cute. 
give yourselves a round of applause as well for that. Uh, we keep the applause going. Sunny on deck! It's the sun giving us positive energy and vibes for this amazing trip that we've had. Like, I cannot recommend it enough. Woo! What was like the first indicator for you that we're almost back? The color of the water. That's a very nice answer. I would say the 5G that we just got. <laughs> All the G's. Yeah, from SOS to 5G. <laughs> I can't believe it. It felt like we were here for so long, but at the same time, like now that we're back, it's so short. You know I know, I mean? like it's like... Like I thought, I felt like we were on board for like at least four days. Like, yeah, four or five longer. days. Like but, I, yeah. But then like now coming back, it's like, oh, now it's all over. Yeah. But, but we have so we're much We're not fun. over. No, we're not over. <laughs> Gel well yeah. together. Gel well. Gel well. Didn't come here to fuck sporters. <laughs> Did not come here to fuck sporters. Fair dinkum, mate. <laughs> <laughs> on point. You got that on point. <laughs>